This is Twit. Our friend Felix Kraus, who has been sort of working at improving iOS security by poking at it, as researchers do, um, noted some concerns over the way iOS handles the camera. And the, our takeaway from this is it's worthwhile periodically doing a little privacy audit of your iPhone or iOS device, meaning I guess iPods and maybe i well, iPads, uh, privacy settings. Under privacy is camera. And you're able to see which applications you, over time, you have ever given permission to use the camera. The reason an, an occasional audit is useful is that those things never turn themselves off, so they tend to accrue over time. And you might find applications that you kind of wonder, wait a minute, why does that have access to my camera? So the point is, what, what Felix noted is that once an app, once any app has ever been granted access to your iOS device's cameras, it can access both the front and the back camera record what it sees anytime that app is in the foreground, w take pictures and videos without notifying you in any way, do anything it wants to with that content, upload the pictures and videos it takes immediately, perform face recognition or detect facial, uh, facial features and expressions, iOS 11 now builds that, uh, um, some feature extraction, facial feature extraction into the underlying framework. Um, and all of that without indicating in any way that your phone is recording you, taking pictures, taking videos um, of you and your surroundings. No LEDs, no lights are shown, no indication of any kind, which is not to say that that apps are doing that or that they would be doing so maliciously and they can only do so when they have the foreground, you know, when, when you're using the app. But if, uh, if you just, I think it's probably worth looking through doing a little audit under privacy camera uh, uh, under your iOS device settings just to see whether you still think it's a good idea for all of the apps that ha currently have that capability to keep them. And of course you, there's switches there. You can just flip them off if so to speak, <laughs> if you decide that you don't want those, you know, all of the apps that have access to your camera to, to retain that right. Because as Felix notes, you are relying on the proper behavior of the application, uh, to which you have given, which, which if you ever gave it access, for example, sometimes an app, may just want to brief, like during setup, acquire access to the camera to take a picture of you in order to establish an icon or, you know, a, an avatar for you. But then there's really no need for it to have enduring access. But by default, it keeps it unless you say, ah, you don't need that anymore. So again, probably worth just keeping that in mind just from a privacy standpoint. Um, you could do a little audit in iOS. You can go through. There's a permission section, and I, I right. do this periodically. Uh, go through all the permissions and turn off ones you don't think are necessary. Because you're right. Exactly. I mean, could just be you know. Let's Snapchat does that. Let's just get a picture. Of, well, I guess Snapchat continues to need access, but there are other apps that do that. And let's just get a picture of you, or hey, let me scan the QR code. Uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, don't yes. yeah, revoke it. And I actually, I actually feel that way also about location services. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And and locate you know the the as we know the location system in our i i devices uses a lot of power. It is a big battery drain, and so and if you look through location services, it's, it's like what the heck? I mean, the, like I want Google Maps and I want Maps, and that's about it. But you'd be surprised how much crap in there wants to know where you are, and it's like this is none of your business where I am. 
So location services is, is another very worthwhile thing to turn off. And you can say, you know, is it, th th there's like never always and only one I'm using. And so, for example, I have everything set for never except a couple mapping apps where I have them only when I'm using them. And what you'll find is you can recover an awful lot of battery life just by keeping things from just being able to monitor where you are all the time. I just, it's, it's amazing that, you know, and of course, Apple's always trying to turn that back on. And when you turn it off, it's like, oh my God, oh, oh. We, we, you know, not everything is going to be able to know where you are. It's like, yeah, it's none of their business. So anyway, another thing worth auditing, I think.